When you're running multiple virtual machines within your Windows Azure environment, it's always a good idea to create a highly available environment. In other words, we can place these servers into availability sets so that in the event that one server fails, the other one is ready to go, ready to assume services. So I've done that already with my two servers. So I can click on either one of these and just go to the Configure tab just to quickly double check. And we see that there's a high availability set already created here, and both of my servers are members of that set. So I can click on either one, and it shows that they're in there. The other thing I can do with this, however, is to distribute the load of any given application across those two systems as well. So not only high availability, but load balancing. So Windows Azure gives us the the option to create this using endpoints. So I'm going to go back to my first server, and I'm going to go to the endpoints option here. And these two endpoints for PowerShell and Remote Desktop are created by default whenever you set up a new virtual machine. So let's create a new one here, and we'll see how we can set up a load balance set. You'll see right there is the option for a load balance set. So we don't have anything yet. So to, to get this process started, we just click on Add. And we're going to add in a new endpoint. Now, we don't have an existing load balance set here, so I can't click here. So we're going to start with just a standalone endpoint. And as for the name, it's pretty much just a pick list based on the application or the protocol that we see here. So let's just imagine that we have web servers. Now, I haven't set anything up on those servers yet, but that doesn't matter with respect to just creating the endpoint. So we're just going to choose that as the name, and then we're going to leave all the defaults as they are. But right there, you see the option to create a load balance set. So we're going to enable that. And we're going to go to our next step, and then we're going to give the load balance set a name, and we'll just call this my LB set okay, for load balancing set. And as far as the probe protocol values go, that's just how often one system will attempt to communicate with the other one to make sure that it's still alive. And in the event that it fails after two probes, it assumes that the that the other system is no longer available and, and this one will pick up the entire load. So we'll just leave those at their defaults as well. And it's going to go ahead and create an HTTP port for us and it places it into my LB set. So that's processing. You can see down here. That will probably take a, a few minutes. But while that's doing that, uh, again, this just creates a single endpoint on the first system, but does create the set. It won't automatically duplicate that on the second server, even though they've already been placed into uh, an existing high availability set. We still have to go in and manually add it on the second server. So that's actually created uh, successfully already. So we'll hit OK. And then we'll go and we'll hit our second server here. So we see we still have nothing here, but there's the load balance set option. And now if we go ahead and create a new endpoint on this system, we have the choice right here to add it to the existing load balance set that we just created. So now we can go with this option. And if there were any additional ones that you created, they'd show up in the list here as well, but we only have the one. So we'll just set our next option. And then same deal. What we're going to do is just create this one as an HTTP protocol, but we could call it anything that we wanted to. Uh, but we're just going to leave all the values basically set as they are. Uh, and then there's the option you see here to reconfigure the load balance set. So if I just mouse over the help here, distribute traffic across multiple virtual machines. So we can just enable this option to reconfigure the load balance set. Choose next. There's the load balance set name. Again, we can set all the values here for the probe, but it's load balanced across the other virtual machine. That's already been set up because it's aware of that uh, that load balance set already. So again, we'll just specify all the defaults there and we'll just hit our OK. And there we have it. That's going to create that endpoint and that's automatically going to start distributing the load for that application across both of those servers. So that's the basics of setting up load balance set within your endpoints.